Once upon a time, in a faraway city blanketed by a thick blanket of snow, there lived a poor little girl. She was known as the Little Match Girl because, even in the coldest of winters, she roamed the streets trying to sell matches. Her name, however, was lost to the biting winds that swept through the city, and her existence seemed like a mere wisp of smoke against the icy backdrop. The little match girl was a frail and delicate child. Her tattered clothes offered little protection from the freezing temperatures, and her worn-out shoes allowed the cold to seep into her very bones. Her face, once rosy and full of innocence, had been replaced by a pale visage that spoke of hardship and suffering. She lived in a small, decrepit attic with her father, who was a good man that had fallen on hard times. Her mother had passed away when she was just a baby, and since then, life had been a relentless struggle. Her father, once a thriving merchant, had lost everything, and they were left with nothing but their small, dimly lit room and the memories of a happier past. The little match girl's days were filled with endless toil and despair. She would roam the snow-covered streets, her matches clutched tightly in her trembling hands, hoping to sell enough to buy a meager meal. People passed her by without a second glance, their hearts hardened by the bitter cold and their own troubles. One cold and unforgiving New Year's Eve, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the city, plunged into darkness, the little match girl found herself in dire straits. She had wandered for hours, her matches unsold, and her hopes dwindling. Hunger gnawed at her stomach, and icy wind seemed to cut through her like a thousand knives. Desperation gripped her, and with trembling hands, she struck a match. Its feeble flame flickered to life, casting a warm and inviting glow. In that fragile light, she saw visions of warmth and comfort a blazing hearth, a table laden with food, and the loving embrace of her mother. But the match burned too quickly, and the vision faded. The little match girl struck another match, and this time, she saw a different scene. She saw herself in a beautiful garden, surrounded by fragrant flowers and singing birds. The warmth enveloped her, and for a fleeting moment, she forgot her hunger and cold. Again, the matches flame dwindled, and the enchanting garden vanished. Tears welled up in the little match girl's eyes as she struck another match. This time, she saw a star streaking across the night sky, leaving a trail of shimmering light. It was a sight of breathtaking beauty, and for that brief moment, she felt a sense of peace. As the match burned down to its end, the star fell from the sky and darkness closed in. The little match girl struck yet another match, her heart aching for more glimpses of the magic and warmth she had witnessed. This time, she saw a grand feast of banquet table laden with delicious dishes and an array of desserts. The aroma filled her senses, and she could almost taste the food. But the matches flame, like all the others, succumbed to the cold and darkness. With tears streaming down her face, the little match girl struck another match, this time with all the remaining matches bundled together. The resulting blaze was a brilliant, blinding light that chased away the night and enveloped her in warmth. In that radiant glow, the little match girl saw the most beautiful vision of all. She saw her beloved mother, her face filled with love and tenderness. Her mother's arms were open wide, beckoning her to come closer, promising safety and comfort. The little match girl could almost feel her mother's embrace, and in that moment, she was no longer hungry or cold. 
But as the matches burned out, the vision of her mother began to fade, and the harsh reality of the cold and forgiving world rushed back in. The little match girl's trembling fingers dropped the spent matches, and she huddled in the snow, her tiny form shivering from the bitter cold. As the hours passed, and the world celebrated the arrival of the new year with joyful festivities and warm gatherings, the little match girl's life slipped away, unnoticed and uncelebrated. Her fragile body, too frail to withstand the merciless winter night, succumbed to the cold and exhaustion. In the morning, as the sun's rays painted the city in golden hues, a passerby discovered the lifeless form of the little match girl. She lay there, her face peaceful and her eyes closed, as if she had finally found the warmth and comfort she had longed for. Tears welled up in the eyes of the stranger, and a deep sense of sorrow washed over them. They realized that the little match girl's life had been one of hardship and suffering, a life that had gone unnoticed by the world. In that moment, they understood the true meaning of compassion and the importance of reaching out to those in need. The stranger gently picked up the little match girl's lifeless body and carried her to a quiet, secluded spot. They placed a single white rose beside her, a symbol of purity and innocence, and offered a silent prayer for her soul. As they walked away, they made a solemn promise to themselves, never to forget the little match girl and the lessons her life and tragic end had taught them. And so, dear listener, as you drift into the realm of dreams, May the story of the little match girl serve as a poignant reminder of the importance of compassion, kindness, and empathy in a world often marked by indifference and cruelty. May her memory inspire you to reach out to those in need and to cherish the warmth and love that surround you. Sleep well, and may your dreams be filled with hope for even in the darkest of nights, a single flicker of light can illuminate the way to a brighter tomorrow.